Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to our live quilting chat, Tipsy Tuesday. Hi everybody, thanks for being with us, whether you're watching on Facebook or YouTube. While you're there, make sure you follow us, uh, like our page and sign up for notifications. And if you're on YouTube, we really want you to subscribe just in case we can't go live on Facebook, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And while you're at it, click on that little bell because that will notify you whenever we go live. So check it out. Thank you, thank you. Throughout the show, we love getting hearts and thumbs up. If you like what you're seeing, keep commenting throughout the show because we have giveaways every single show. A live winner from your comments is chosen randomly uh, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube and $25 gift card is up for grabs and then we have a second giveaway towards the end of the show with a giveaway question so even if you can't catch us live you can still win on tonight's show uh, we are of course counting down to our Phoenix quilt along happening on November 6 so until that to gear up I have some quick and easy projects for you to inspire you for some quick gifts, easy stuff to make from toweling fabric. Um, but we are gonna start off with our giveaway from last show, from last week. I asked you a question, uh, do you hand out treats on Halloween? And the winner for the $25 gift card from last week is Jenny Fuller. Jenny, congratulations. Uh, she loves to hand out treats to kids of all ages. Ooh, okay. I love that. So Jenny, uh, send us a quick email to help at GEQuiltDesigns.com and we will get you your $25 gift card so you can go shopping. ASAP. All right. Thanks everybody uh, for hanging in with us on this Tuesday night. It's getting chilly in Minnesota. The wind was whipping and you could really feel that fall, winter air is coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's like the... Um, that phrase from our show winter is coming winter is coming we gotta stock up for some sewing projects so winter is coming there's gonna be lots of sewing um actually saw some friends in the warehouse today great to see uh, some new people stopping by for the first time that are actually pretty local and some uh liz great to see you again so just happy to be back in their groove after traveling and so we all love that when we get back into a sewing room after a while away it's the best feeling ever as a matter of fact i spent a lot of time in my sewing room this weekend didn't i yes ma'am i, ma I yes, got ma some stuff done oh by the way say hi to mr hp he is uh of course running the show hi everybody i'm just Happy. here in front of the camera talking 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 what talking oh tuesday hi tipsy tuesday hi. tipsy tuesday yes he's he's doing all the work um, so yes, I got some good sewing done, some projects that I can't share yet, but just rest assured, there's always new stuff, fun stuff coming up. So I'm very excited about what I got done this weekend, and as a matter of fact, I got some still some sewing done this afternoon. So always uh, a beautiful time when you get to spend that time in the sewing room. Am I right, people? Am I right? It's just settles everything all the stress stress melts away your mind just wanders and um, actually i got to listen to some good good books on tape too <clears throat> so um i wanted to get, give you a couple of reminders we have a lot of folks now that are so have subscribed to our mystery block of the month christmas in europe and then of course fast and furious club which both programs have downloadable patterns and a video so i just wanted to send out a little reminder of um you know we're getting the same emails i can't find my pattern i can where do i watch the videos so i just wanted to remind everybody that we have a really great faq on our website so go to our frequently asked questions it's um, probably easiest to find it at the bottom of the front page of our website there's our faqs it talks about, leads you through the steps of finding your downloads. And basically, I want to encourage you, unless you're watching the videos, 
you have to go to your account on geequaltoscience.com to watch the videos because you stream them. Um, however, the patterns, when you click on it, whatever device you're on, when you click on it in your account, it automatically downloads to your account. So you don't have to always go into your account to look at your pattern because it's already downloaded to your device. So you can just go to your device, whatever it is, find your downloads folder and open up the file right there in your on your device whether it's your laptop desktop computer phone tablet so um, in the FAQs we try to we are not <laughs> geek squad we are not <laughs> but we tried to give you instructions on how to find your downloads and all of those things it's tricky if you run out of downloads just email us we can try and fix it but mainly we don't want you to be downloading multiple times if you run out of downloads that means you've downloaded that file eight times Whoa. so you'll have eight copies on your computer and we don't want that we, we don't want to clog up your downloads folder so we highly encourage you to try and find that downloads folder where files go when you download them and that's where they're all hiding if you haven't found them yet so check it out check it out FAQ is really a good one um, a second reminder I wanted to remind everybody that our flat rate shipping rates are going up just a little bit on November 1st we've had a couple of um, rate hikes from our shippers the past few months and I have held back on raising the prices but we're gonna have to do it a little bit because it's not just that the rate hikes they're also adding some surcharges because of the holidays coming up so um, we al I always try to be fair and and um, so we'll still have the flat rates for FedEx which will get your stuff usually most places really really fast um, and USPS has also raised their prices so it'll be a little little higher I just wanted to remind all of you too that uh, if you want, if you prefer USPS and you purchase something that's going to be shipped first class mail, like a pattern, their delays are very extreme these days. We are seeing sometimes up to a month, even shipping one pattern domestically. So just wanted to have you guys aware of that, that everything is just taking a little bit longer. Um, all right. <laughs> Hopefully not us. Boo, boo. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. But we just have to, you know, show some some compassion and some patience and practice practice our patience. And if we're lacking in that area, which happens happens to me too, um, my my um, solution to that is I just go into my sewing room and um, piece something for a few minutes, and then everything is just gone. All the frustration is gone. Uh, what do you do? Do you go bang some drums? Oh, yeah. Bang some drums. Bang some drums or do yoga. Oh, very diff two diff very different things, but yes. They both work. They both work. Um, I wanted to also talk about customer service emails. Um, just wanted to remind everybody again, if you have any questions on your orders or anything customer service related, um, use our email, help at geequiltdesigns.com. Please don't post on social media or send us messages through social media uh, we want to get those through email we don't want to be talking about your account on any or anything on social media so please don't post please don't send messages through Facebook um, email us directly all right so plus I don't always see uh, posts on Facebook so make sure you email 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 best way all right so I um We've been playing, playing, playing with this new product, all well, new to us product, it's not a new product, which is um, some toweling fabric. So what is toweling fabric? So it comes on, it's about uh, eight, the ones we have is actually hemmed toweling fabric. And so it is hemmed on two sides. So let me just show you um, here on the overhead. So if you open this up, so it's hemmed on two sides double hemmed really nice and and so it is um, a really nice quality this is from Moda so really nice quality toweling it presses so nicely and um, it's thicker so it's more canvas like and so this is just a beautiful fun product very kind of on trend with home deck stuff and so we just got five different versions of this in 
in the store because I really love doing like quick little things for the holidays as you know quick little gifts and these are just a really great deal so we I took uh, we took some of our remnants and we took some and we played with it so I want to show you what you can do with these things so um, of course we sell them in three and a half yards so three and a half yards um, length so you can cut it down to whatever you want and so obviously a simple way to do it is just creating dish towels and so three and a half yards uh, is priced at $27.95 which is a great price because if you know if you get a good quality dish towel you it's hard to get them for I don't know under eight dollars a piece and you can get a lot out of three and a half yards so um, I made some dish towels of course you could always embroider on them which is exactly what I did for my siblings and for Christmas last year I made some embroidered dish towels and I swear I bought the towels at Target and they were not as nice and more expensive than these so we've just made some some towels so we have a few different colors so these are just regular dish towels um, you could also do something fun with it and add in some fabric so this one we just took out a piece added that piece of fabric and look how beautiful that is and so this one um, uh, let me show you how it's hanging on how it's pretty hanging on the cabinet with a little accent fabric so you can add, ac add fabrics to it you could obviously add some monog monograms or um, you know somebody's name or just some cute little appliques or embroidery but we took this a step further and did some more things so um, another easy thing to make is napkins so because they're 18 inches wide a little bit over 18 actually so then I just cut squares and made uh, napkins so cloth napkins are really great my um, my son and daughter-in-law always used cloth napkins so that's a really great gift and you know the sets of cloth napkins can be pretty expensive so I am making a bunch of these that um, we have a little place setting that I used the napkins but also took the toweling and made placemats so just cutting it a little bit shorter to make placemats and then we just hem them on two sides so a set of little placemats that are easy to pick up after a meal and dust off um, these have been folded so but it's th these press really nicely you just give them a little press and they are really nice and flat and so I wanted to show you just how easy that is so here's a napkin I'm working on so I just cut it into a square and then you just double roll the hem so you just uh, roll it in once press it roll it again and then all you do is hem it on the two sides and you got a napkin how quick and easy is that and just beautiful cool um, it's kind of that magnolia look that's really in the, the kind of farmhouse um, look that's so popular uh, what I also did for my table <laughs> I don't have it up here because it's on my dining table is I did a table runner so um, really easy just cut it to length and you can just adjust it to whatever length your table is do we have a photo of my table runner on my table um, no get do the other one first because <laughs> this one <laughs> Oh, okay though this is uh, our house guest he's there permanently right now for the for the holiday this is Henry <laughs> the zombie uh, he's been hanging out in our dining room for a while but so yeah I just actually turned the corners in and sewed it so there is a triangle hiding underneath you can just put a little hemming tape and uh, very easy if you want to point it ends you could do a flat end too and just hem it just like the napkins and the placemats Henry looks hungry yeah he looks like he's waiting for something but what do zombies eat brains <laughs> right no they like regular food they like veggies and zombies yeah they like veggies I don't think so I think they eat your brain <laughs> you're too vague you're too you're too you're such a softy <laughs> I'm hardcore Halloween <laughs> um, 
All right, so some more things. Pillows are so cool to make. So I made a bunch of different pillows. Um, and those are like really great to use some of the scraps or little cuts. You don't, you can cut them and, and piece them differently. Do you have a photo of my pillows? You don't have a photo of my pillows? Hmm. No, no? there should have been a pillow um, photo in there on our couch. You want to look for it? Well, let me just show you in the overhead. So we, I made um, kind of bigger pillows like this. So I used one fabric here um, going around and then another cut the other way. And so um, I made two big ones like that. They're just really cool. So that's that look that's so in right now. And you could add, of course, applique to it. And then we did this little, can we show the overhead? um a smaller one can you switch to the overhead there it is okay so here's my bigger ones um a little bit smaller one so just using little bits of leftovers super cute and then a little lumbar a mini lumbar pillow so it's pretty much just seaming it and Put a little fake button on it, but you can do, these are simple and easy. I didn't do any, a whole lot of work with it, but I'll show you some other ideas um, to use all kinds of, yeah, there's, there's the pillows on our couch. Uh, can you put it in a full, full view? Oh, there it is. I think it looks really cute and fun to make, um, make something that goes fast and doesn't have to put a whole bunch of work into it right what do you think you did a great job yeah all right so we did some other things well mainly um Karn got very creative with some of our things because I'm not really a seamstress but she's a seamstress so how cute is that so tote bags really easy to make so this is just a really easy box the corners um so box corners i love that she stitched down the corners i don't know if you can see this she stitched down the box corner so it really reinforces the corner and then um just add a little pocket so cute i put some pumpkins and gourds in it and of course the <laughs> the cocktail recipes in the pocket because of course if you're going somewhere that needs to come along. Like if you're going to the farmer's market or anything and um, happen to stop somewhere, it's always good to have the cocktail recipes. <laughs> Another idea that she came up with, which I really love, is an apron. So um, really also easy because you just take, so let me show you in the overhead. You just take, um, the, this is the width, the hemmed sides. You, you hem the two sides, put a couple of pleats in here, and then um, just pockets on the front like this, and then put a waistband. How easy and cute is that for, for gardening or for anything, even for sewing? And uh, I really love how this turned out. And I, we took a picture of me on the set <laughs> with it on. Um, so very cute. So. I love all these ideas. I think um, after the show, we'll probably I'll probably start taking orders from my family because <laughs> they love this stuff. So tell me what you think uh, about all these easy, fast projects look, using toweling. Now, if we, um, like I said, we have five colorways um, available right now of the hemmed toweling. Uh, I've seen stuff other things done with it and if you want to do something more like I didn't have time to do any embroidery with my embroidery machine if you have an embroidery machine you can do all kinds of cool things how about a tool belt tool belt yeah totally like that that apron can be turned into a tool belt easy 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 um, but I wanted to show you some more ideas just what I got off the Moda blog so if you wanted to do something a little bit more elaborate I'm more for like the simple and easy but here's an idea for a table runner, um, just adding just a little bit of applique. You could do wool applique on it. Um, just really cute, 
cute, cute, cute, and um, very simple because it already comes hemmed. So you and you don't have to quilt it, don't have to put a backing on it, nothing like that. It's just just adding some unique touches on it. Here's another tote bag, a simple one too with some hardware. Um, there's some pillows with some applique on it, beautiful wool applique on it. Um, that's really cute. I really want to do that, but <clears throat> don't really have the time. And some more pillows with a little bit of applique, even some embroidery block, just kind of added applique on. Um, actually, stitch, it's a stitchery, and then that's applique on to the pillow. Very, very cute. So, love to hear uh, what you think about these fun, quick little projects. Uh, and any questions you have, I'm ready to answer those. So these are not, um, Jackie's asking uh, about instructions or if this is going to be a Fast and Furious project. It's not, because it's not a quilt as you go. Fast, as Furi Fast and Furious is, of course, quilt as you go. But it's really, you don't really need any instructions, because it's the width of the fabric for the apron. You have it as wide as you want it to be. Put a couple of pleats in there in the waistband, and it should be very simple. Um, pillows, really, the sizes... Uh, you know how I picked the sizes? I found the pillow forms that I had <laughs> of previous purchased pillows that I didn't like anymore that I just cannot, I can't throw them away because pillow forms, you know, they can be pricey, so I, <laughs> I never throw them away. Yeah, believe me, I get flack for that. But it's, it's fine. So I really just made them the size of the pillow forms that I um, had and just played with it. So, um, Okay, so Trudy asked, did you use pillow forms? And if so, how did you close them? It's I, fine. So I, I, uh, I really why am I all side. of a sudden listening to myself? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did use pillow forms. I just stitched the bottom. Uh, just a simple, you know, you can, you can hand stitch it closed. I did it just by top stitching it closed. And the reason for that, I do that a lot because... I'd rather switch out my look with um, just sewing a new cover on a pillow instead of having to, you know, insert a, a zipper and all that work. There's a question. Um, how wide is the fabric between the hem, ed hem edges? So it's 18 inches. My measurements, it's a little bit larger, so more like close to 18 and a half or so. But yeah, so they're, they're called 18 inch hemmed, um, hemmed toweling. What are belly bands? What are belly bands? Where'd that come from? I don't know. Or so? I don't know. Okay. I don't know why this doesn't stay quiet. <clears throat> so, yeah, no, I did not put any zippers in the pillows. But you, of course, can. You, of course, can if you want to. Probably not. Um, it's all cotton. It's all cotton. It's a Moda, Moda brand. And really beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Colors. Um... What other colors? They're all on the website. I put a link in the description so you can click right on it. We have five different ones. Um, I probably have most of them here, so I can kind of show you. Um, between all the projects that we made. Belly bands go around the pillows, Miss Janice said. Oh, okay. That's, oh, that's cool. So you have a pillow, and then you do an embroidery stuff or something cute, and you just tie it around the pillow. There you go. That's a great idea. Okay, so we have, um, this is one version with a darker gray, and then we have this same one with a light gray here. So those are two. We have um, two different colors in this gray, so with a light gray on the outside, um, and then the opposite, so a white in the middle and the darker gray on the outside, and then the fifth one is the taupe. So that's what we have right now. But honestly, if you like these projects, I, f I love them. So I think this is something that we could kind of keep carrying and, and have more variety if you enjoy it. Um, we loved, we love the three and a half yards. So how many towels can you get from three and a half yards? Well, it depends on how long you want your towels. So we were making these about 24 inches. So that's, that's two thirds of a yard. So, which means that Two thirds of a yard, so you get three from two yards. So you will get f at least five 
and then possibly some leftovers for a pillow from three and a half yards. So that's... What is it, Iggy? Huh? What, said, <laughs> I what don't is know. It, Iggy? And then I said... Uh, I that said, must be something that somebody's talking about in the comments. Italian greyhound. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, there um, you go, folks. But I wanted to say, you know, from the three and a half yards, we figured, too, that we I got the table runner and the four placemats. I was able to get... Um, a ta you can get a table runner and four napkins. There's just all kinds of versions. And then the little leftovers, they were perfect to use for the pillows. So, because you could just piece them together and uh, have fun with it. Same thing with um, the tote bag because we put a seam on the bottom. It, has to, can't, uh, it, ha it doesn't have to be whole all the way through. You can use smaller pieces and just piece them. So, um, so it's kind of, it's a really good value, I feel like, because you know, we like projects, so we like to use our sewing machines. And if I can save some money and make something really cool and, and kind of personalized, that's a bonus. Especially then you could use a shorter towel if you want to add the band to it because um, then you can get away with maybe cutting about 18 inch. So in that case, you can get like seven if you add a band, you can get seven dish towels from three and a half yards. So, how well do they wash? Oh, great! The, um, you just wash them, dry them, and then give them a good press, and they're pretty again. Wash, not wash. <laughs> oh, are we going to talk about that on Never live, mind. on Never Tipsy mind. Tuesday live? No, because he doesn't wash his clothes; he washes them. Wash them. Yes. Anybody else pronounce it that way? Wash, not wash. There's no R in washing. Well, that's the way my lips go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Believe me, we've talked about this for years, and there is no resolution. So it's always he's going to, it's his worst day. <laughs> and I have to always think, is it it's his worst, worst day? No, it's or my worst. 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 Worst day. Sorry. His wash day. They wash great. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. All right. <clears throat> if you piece the placemats or runners, don't they have seams that show? So no. Th so this is just one whole piece of fabric. So you just hem it around the edges. So you double roll the hem so there's no raw edges on the back. So they're all kind of hidden in. How big um, is the band? How big is the band? Yeah. What band? I don't know. This is... How, How big is the band? It's a question. Maybe they're asking about, about your band. Mr. Barb. Mr. Barb says. <laughs> um, maybe they're talking about the waistband on the apron. Yeah. So uh, I think we cut it at five inches. Yeah, so it's, yeah, we, we cut it at uh, five. So it ends up being about two because it's folded and with a seam inside. So five or four and a half. So you sew it to one side, or you can just make a loop and then tuck the, tuck actually the hem inside, the one hem inside, and then you just top stitch it. So easy, so easy, you guys. Very, very easy. I can show you kind of an up close if you want to, over on the overhead. By the way, there's a few people that say wash. Just saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> I knew you would get, you would get some. Um, Thanks, everybody. Appreciate those. Some acknowledgement on that one. Not so proper, folks. That's just yeah. We've it's, just, it's mainly I've been trying to figure out where that comes from because it's not a Minnesota thing. Just how I've been uh, saying it. Yeah, I don't know. I can't help it. <laughs> so yeah. So um, what we let we press the strip. You press the, press the hem under, and then you just tuck this inside and top stitch it. Easy, easy, easy. And then the pockets are just a, a piece that's already hemmed on this side. You tuck it under, top stitch, sew down the middle. You can, of course, do um, and you hem it on the top as well, and then you just top stitch it on. It's very, very simple. What does three and a half yards cost? Oh, Claudia says it's southern Indiana. Worsh. Oh. You, have, you don't know nobody from southern Indiana. No, so. I'm from Minneapolis south side. <laughs> Oh, but your dad was from what, Missouri? Missouri, mother from Mississippi. 
Yeah, so they, who knows where that got picked up. They Minnesotan, too, so. <laughs> you don't have a Minnesota accent. But I say Warsh. <laughs> that's not a Minnesota thing <laughs> at all. Oh, that's funny. All right, any more questions on the toweling? No, eh? Is that Canadian? Yes. <laughs> or North Dakota. North Dakota? North Dakota, eh? Um, okay, so Chicago, and she said Warsh, so I guess it's all over. Pennsylvania, yeah, it's, that's, that's, I guess it just runs in certain there you, people. There you go. <laughs> we can't figure it out. Love all you Warshers. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, the H. waistband, H. Julie was asking, was the waistband a separate fabric? Yes, I just used regular cotton fabric for the waistband, or... Karn did. <laughs> I didn't make that one. But now I want to make some. Um, so, yeah. Um, for the towel with the insert, how did you finish the seams? Does the back just have unfinished seams? No. So, I'll... Uh, let me take that one out. So, we can look at that on the overhead. So, uh, sewn to each side, and then we just rolled the hem around and stitched it down. So, I'll have to ask Karn exactly how she did it, because I can't figure it out from looking at it. She's so good. <laughs> yeah, she may have just, um, fo probably... Oh, you know what? She cut the towel in half, so that's, uh, that's the way she did that. It's, yeah. Double rolled on each side. I'll, I'll have to ask her exactly how she did that, but you can see on the other side that um, the hem is just rolled over with the other ones. Um, and I know there's no toweling in the middle. So. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Karin. I have to get your instructions. <laughs> but I think it's so cute and you can put all kinds of fun fabrics you know themed fabrics and things like that folks from Washington say Warsh too oh, Washington <laughs> do you you don't say do you say that when you're pronouncing the state I'm from Washington I don't say Washington that's too much work Washington just say Washington Washington too much work <laughs> Washington <laughs> okay sorry everybody uh, focus. Focus. I don't. Um, let's solve the problem. We s just say laundry. Doing <laughs> my laundry. Yeah, I don't know. It's just strange. Um, somebody's saying if you have a, a rolling hem foot on your machine, this is like piece of cake. I I probably do, but I didn't even use that because um, I probably. I've never done that. Um, oh, you could add all kinds of decorative stuff. Somebody is saying uh, adding rickrack to them, all kinds of fun decorative little tassels, anything you w you want to add to these. But So love to see what you come up with from these. This is just what we came up with in a short period of time. Um, and of course, you can put more work into it. It's just really cute look. All right, um, wanted to mention the quilt along. So if anybody has been hiding under a rock the past few weeks, we are having a full day quilt along November 6th, the Phoenix quilt along. Um, do we have that image to pop up and remind everybody to save the date and the Phoenix pattern? Um, you can purchase it. It's a $10 pattern. Of course, when you purchase it, you will only get the fabric requirements. So to so far but coming up this coming Friday you will get the cutting instructions for the three sizes there'll be three sizes available um, so Friday is the cutting instructions and a video of me showing you how to cut it all up depending if you're using fat quarters or single fabric and then uh, next Monday we'll have some fun recipes on the blog there's a blog post already about the Phoenix quilt along and then 24 hours before the quilt along starts, we will have the full pattern in your account. So 
um, you can still purchase now and get ready and then we will have a fun full day of fun on November 6th it's gonna be Saturday I know this says Friday but it's Saturday November 6th starting at 9 a.m. Uh, Central Time with our first instruction and so this is a great great quilt I would love to hear who you're gonna be sewing with on that day if anybody maybe it's your pets or your husband or wife or uh, kids or maybe it's friends that you're sewing with maybe it's somebody that you want to teach how to quilt I'm very excited we have some new quilters joining I have a friend that's gonna make uh, one of our first quilts and uh, one of our staff members is gonna make her first quilt for the quilt along so really really love that it's a perfect quilt to start off with for beginners because we're just big pieces straight seams no triangles or diagonal seams great to use flannel as we've talked about before um, but you know you can use whatever whatever you want so I'm excited tell us in the comments who you're gonna be sewing with I see there's gonna be some sewing parties um, and so we will of course record all the instructions on the 6th so if you miss it the videos will be available afterwards and so um, Sandy's asking if I make a lap oh sewing with my mom Carolyn that's great if we make a lap in flannel how heavy will the final quilt be with batting and backing so flannel not, is not necessarily heavier than regular like regular fabrics just maybe a tad but actually not that much it's just thicker so it doesn't necessarily have to be that heavy uh, I would still not choose to use minky for my flannel quilts because that will that's what will make it heavier um, and also depending on what batting you use so <clears throat> it's coming up things are just it's gonna come it's gonna be here before we know it so um, yes uh, Vicky is excited because the flat the lap size is extra long yes it is and that's you know sometimes the sizes get based on the actual design of the pattern so it just worked out that way it's a pretty long lap which is my preference I like to cover my whole self up tuck in tuck it underneath my feet uh, but it's great for taller um, taller people and kids uh, so that's so it's a great one for like college and things because usually those college dorms beds aren't that long so they can use it for their beds or just as a as a lap quilt to to um kind of um carry around uh great for the car you know send sending your college kids off to college and they're rinky dinky cars <laughs> need a quilt in that car <laughs> um all right so some people will be working but catching us later so that's great sewing with my best friend you use polyester in batting? i use poly batting yes for the most part i uh, either that or wool depending but most times i use poly i like the way it quilts i like i like the way it doesn't hold its creases um and it doesn't shrink uh can we shorten to a crib size by leaving blocks off the length yes you of course you can it's still going to be a pretty large crib which is why i didn't include that size um to me it's just the dimensions don't don't really look right to me so uh, but that's okay you can always adjust you know what i always encourage rebel behavior do whatever you want to do <clears throat> all right lots of folks going to be sewing by themselves but just know you're not going to be sewing by yourselves we're all going to be sewing together so even though you're by yourself in your own place you're going to be sewing with thousands of people thousands Yay. yes love it love it love it um all right so monica's asking if she's thinking of using a high loft batting and tying the quilt will that work of course it will work um do what like i said do whatever you want to do I don't use cotton batting I use poly batting I just I was just talking about that earlier uh, <laughs> I'm trying to give the answers for you guys uh, yeah it's not really blocks so I can't give you the size of the blocks sorry 
Um, okay. That's great. Lots of great conversations going on. I love it. Love Rink it. Love it. Who said rinky dinky? Did I say it? Someone said rinky dinky. Someone else said I haven't heard that for a while. I probably said it. <laughs> rinky dinky. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know what where that's from. I heard it from somewhere. Are you doing a Zoom guild for the law? No, this is all going to be on Facebook and YouTube live on our channel, which is why we want you to go subscribe and sign up for notifications so you don't miss it. So you don't miss every time we go live because you'll get notified. Is it YouTube or YouTube? <laughs> oh, really? YouTube? I don't even know how to say that. YouTube. YouTube. Yes, um, it's just our friend in Jamaica that says YouTube. YouTube. Didn't he? Yeah. He was famous on YouTube. I'm famous on YouTube. All right, I think it's time for some more fabric. Uh, we have brand new fabric in the warehouse. Lots coming, and I have to give you guys some really great news. Those of you that have been waiting, Abandon 2 was being cut today so it will be going to you all of you that have a pre-order it'll be going coming to you now i saw that the pre-order orders were already almost sold out don't worry i ordered more so we have more coming even though we sell out of what we have um however we have four brand new lines that i want to show you very different looks but i love them all so uh, I'm going to start off with a very classic but unique colorway. This is yellows and grays. How beautiful is that? It's kind of like spring is in the air. <laughs> Not so much. But this one is called Field of Gold, right? Fields of Gold. Fields of Gold. So um, I'm going to start off with this main print. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, florals on a really nice and soft this is so tranquil this colorway is so tranquil and calming and and cool um, we have a smaller scale floral with a gray and then we have larger flowers kind of more compressed i should say like a collage we have a very small print with a little bit of vines just a beautiful hue of gray, very nice and warm. We have a tone on tone, and then a little bit of a geometric gray. So we have six grays, uh, plus a plaid. Plaid gray with yellow. And then we have the yellow colorway, a very nice, soft yellow, beautiful buttercup yellow. Um, with some darker gold flowers and the gray flowers. We have a small print with the gray vines. And a tone on tone in that light yellow. And then we have the plaid in the yellow as well. So just a beautiful kind of tranquil colorway. And we do have some of the prints in one yard. So we have both plaids in one yard. And um, then we also have a couple of um, prints or we have the floral silhouettes, which is not in, the, in this bundle because it's a little bit lighter. So it's kind of acts as your background. And then also the yellow. Uh, floral silhouettes in the yellow, which is this color. So this one we have in one yards as well. If you wanted to add a little more yellow, if you wanted to add more white, uh, these are great options. So then I did my color pull, uh, started with some yellows. So I like to have a variety of lights to darks. So because some of the darker hues are a very dark yellow, so the darkest parts I use the Prisma elements and the solar quartz because it has the light light um, print on it i think it ties very well together canvas sunshine as a medium and then a brand new chalk and charcoal in the buttercup very nice hue with the lighter tones in here uh, works perfectly as for grays the diamond dots and the silver is a perfect match it's a very cool silver 
And then I wanted to pull out some of the darker grays in here. So I did the circle burst and the slate. This is a Wilmington line. So I um, chose a Wilmington Prince Basic. And then if you wanted to go really darker, like the really centers of the flowers, I did the grunge and the lead to go with that. So great mix of, of, of grays, but the lead would also work great as a background if you wanted a dark background a dark accent that would work great if you wanted a white background you can always go pretty white with uh, century white white on white but i also found this print the the seedlings print that we have which is white with gray print and this one like fits into this line just perfectly as well so beautiful i really wouldn't add any other color to this because it will really comp um, kind of compromise the line i would always if i needed a real focus fabric with a contrast i would always probably stick with gray uh, so that it doesn't get too harsh well, i wouldn't use black uh, it would just kind of stay with the elements of the group so fields of gold so love, love, lovely, lovely florals. So this next one is called 20. And 20, uh, this is a line from Katrina Rochella by Art Gallery Fabrics. And I believe it's called 20 because it's her 20th line of fabric. So I really love it. I think she pulled from some of her favorites. She's one of my favorite designers. I always love what she comes up with. I love her artwork. Um, and uh, really love, I'm going to start with this print because it's one of my favorites. <laughs> uh, really love this. And then the hues of this line are very modern. They're very trendy as far as what's happening in home deck. So just these <clears throat> kind of rose. I mean, back in the day, this was called dusty rose. <laughs> but um, I don't know, you call it blush or something cooler now. I love the ginkgo leaves. On this this um, kind of a dusty background um, love this one the branches so pretty and then going into the more terracotta color beautiful and kind of a burnt orange tone on tone print a geometric almost like a knitting pattern to this Kind of a directional stripe and then pairing these beautiful uh, earthy colors with some teals but this lovely dusty teal so i chose these prints for a reason i mean uh, the line is larger but i chose the prints i love it going from a little bit lighter to a dark it's the only good thing that's dusty huh this <laughs> colors yeah, yeah, this yeah. I agree. Dusty. It's a good dusty. I agree. Really nice and soft. They're not not bright, uh, but they just they just kind of uh, love this print and this hue too. And then the last one is kind of a charcoaly black, but not pure black. Just a really nice and warm line. I think it's gorgeous. Uh, really in, am enjoying this one and I cannot wait to make something out of it. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I did do a fabric pull with it. So let me show you the colors I pulled with it. Um, I just did a couple of ones here on this end because I feel like there's already four teals and then we need to add more of these lighter ones. But if you wanted more black, the jot dot black is a perfect match with this one not too harsh and has um, lots of different variation in it um, for the teal the moonscape and the spruce is a perfect hue with all of them because it has the lighter tones and the darker if you wanted to add a little bit of sparkle the dwell in possibility in the sprinkle sky is the perfect match here and even though it look it says this is gray um, it is got so much blue in it so it is uh, works perfectly with these then as far as the burnt orange the provisions in the sienna is the great darkest hue to it the medium would be the jacks in the rust kind of in between and then i wanted to add the pecan praline and the deco, deco stitch 
because this is kind of a solo here, so it would be great to add this in. A little bit for the pink would be the dash flow and the parfait. And then we have a couple of options for background. We have one more print that's from the line that I chose to have is just one yards because it is a white. It's called um, Gritted Seeds. Has a little bit of that teal in here, but this and the gray. I love this with it. Um, would work great as a background, but I also I love it in one yards because I could pair it with so many other things. And then also as a gray as a background, I love this perfect day in the splatter. Has the same hue to all the teals, so it worked well as a background. And then I found a wave, the terrain wave in the air. If you wanted some kind of a stripe or a directional print, this one has a lot of action. Uh, this one would work perfect as, as that movement for this line. So this is 20. Gotta love this one. They always want to ask me what I would make with it, but this is one of those that has to sit with me a little bit. I don't know. You can make so many beautiful things, but um, I haven't quite figured it out yet what I'll make. I'll be making, but even if they just sit on my shelf for a couple of years, that's okay. I'm okay with it. I love to take lines, especially something unique like that for from my favorite designers, and just. Let them um, live on my shelf for a little bit. It's okay, it's okay, it's all good. All right, so next one up is for all of us great sewers. It's called So Little Time, S-E-W, Little Time. And uh, I think I'm gonna start with the panel. It's, uh, the panel does not come with a bundle, it's sold separately, but it's a really cool, cool panel of a sewing machine a big beautiful vintage machine um, a large one here and then we have blocks sewing men's the soul so happy so blessed and then a beautiful life made one stitch at a time when life gives you scraps make a quilt so this is the panel and then uh, the bundle is a 12 piece bundle. So let me show you beautiful colors in this. So I want to start with the lights. Love this all over print. Very um, matches the panel perfectly. We have the sewing machines. I even have the glasses, the cool glasses and all of our notions in this print. We have a typography print with all of our fun words, mend, scrap, stitch, quilt, blessed and beautiful. We have beautiful colorful spools, wooden spools. And then this awesome print that is our plaid, it's ribbons. So overlapping ribbons as a plaid with some buttons and so how cute is this this is and especially it's on the diagonal I love it so uh, this is our lights continuing on a light turquoise flowers so there are stitched flowers with buttons as buds we have another stitched kind of a design the circles in this light turquoise we have a small floral print in the teal. And then we have the other colorway of this really beautiful navy, like a, a bright navy. So we have the main print. And we have the spools again, the wooden spools in the blue. We have a typography print. And then we have the threads loose threads <laughs> and then finally the plaid in the blue the ribbon plaid so cool so this is so little time blues teals and lights um, there's one more print that goes with a line that is not in the bundle it's the thread toss 
in the cream so that cream background is perfect and then we also have both of the plaids in one yards as well the diagonal plaid and the ribbons in both the blue and the cream and then i just pulled some fun ones um, a great matching navy here is the canvas after midnight a perfect match and then also the floor elements and the nocturne just a little bit more of the light um, in there so then we go into the medium the the teals and aquas i love the circle burst and the teal perfect match with a darker one and then the dash flow in the mist for the lighter hues and as far as matching this cream my best match was butter bumbleberries in the cream so a perfect hue match to uh, the other creams and then as far as there's a lot of other color in here if you wanted a focus fabric something to make things pop uh, i loved this seeds in the carnation this beautiful pink color not too bright but it matches perfectly with all the pink ribbons and then pulling out the green another seeds in the grass uh, is a perfect match with the greens in here so i think these two would be great as accents uh, for this line so again it's called so little time the panels sold separately but beautiful i want to remind you i have a sheet in our bonus charts and templates on if you wanted to use panels and and kind of mix it in with blocks for some of my patterns there's a little sheet there a little guide um, that gives you all the sizes of blocks and things like that all right so little time there's i mean i think this is so indicative so little time because we always have less time than what we think or want because we really would like our sewing time to be endless sometimes but of course that doesn't the universe doesn't really work that way does it but um but i love it all right one last line this is also a, this is a pre-order that we've been waiting for it's beautiful it's unique if you remember warehouse district that we got last year sold out really fast because it's so unique this one is by the same designers it's called weather report so a little bit lighter um, take on it but same abstract really cool prints so starting with this light print here um, and if you pre-ordered weather report your order should be going out if not it didn't go out today it will be going out tomorrow so um, like I said, they're all really abstract and just different and cool. And you know, I love anything different and cool. So we have the pink and the kind of the rings going into a little bit of gold with that kind of raspberry color mixed in. Um, a little bit more of the light pinks and the, and the gold in there. Uh, we have more of that with a little bit bluish tones mixed into it kind of taken from there so same print as here but with a little bit blue a little bit of blue more blue in here and then we have the darkest of that raspberry color i think these are so cool um, a little bit of lime green it is kind of sprinkled throughout so love that with that bluish gray in there another print with the green and then we have um, that same print all very geometric all very kind of graffiti style it's so cool we have the blue with just a little bit of green and then um, the darkest blue with that little bit of that ras darkest raspberry almost purple color in it so weather report this is weather report 
So beautiful, so cool. And so what does this remind you of? Of course, uh, right away with the abstract and the coolness factor, it reminds me of Tim Holtz and Abandoned. So I pulled out two of our one yards of Abandoned and look, um, the Hotel Burgundy, it <laughs> would be great with it, wouldn't it? I just love when that happens. Another favorite of mine that we could just mix in with no problem. And then also the piano sorte with the lime greens and the blues would work perfectly in here as well. Isn't that beautiful how that happens sometimes? So I pulled those two just to show you that these would mix so well in here. But then what I did, I just pulled some colors for like the basics. Um, as far as the blue, I did the chalk and charcoal in the lake color. By the way, we just got in about 25 different colors of chalk and charcoal. There's really great basic uh, by Kaufman. And so uh, that's all in. So for the blues, I chose that one. For the greens, I did the canvas and the kiwi. So not too harsh. As far as the darker raspberry color, I did um, the deco stitch and the burgonia, burgundy, because it has the lights in there as well. Uh, a little bit of lavender because there's kind of lavender hues to this. I did the speckle in the lilac. And then a lighter lavender, I did the deco stitch in the lilac dust because it fits very well here on the lighter side. And then as far as gold, the bumbleberries and the dark gold and sand is a perfect hue to the dark golds in here. So that one will work very well as, um, as well. Then as far as lights, um, I kind of went with this hue on the lightest tone. So the one I showed you earlier from 20, the gridded seeds would work perfectly in here. Actually with that little bit of um, hue to it, it would work perfectly in here. Other two that would work well because um, these are art gallery, the soften the volume of the flying seeds because the seeds are gold from here and then the wild stems as well. They work, both of them work great with, with um, these prints, same hue of the white if you wanted to add more light to this. Now, if you wanted some more contrast and figuring out a background for this, I would probably go a dark gray or a dark navy. I love navy as a background. So look how beautiful Dash Flow Blueprint would be as a background. All these prints would just really shine. Great contrast. And if you wanted to do, not do navy, um, a gray would be great as well. So the spotted and the charcoal has that warmth to it still and would be great making all these colors shine or the grunge and the lead which has a little more blue to it. But those are beautiful contrasts as well. Now, weather report, we have a couple of wide backs in that beautiful satin that go with the line. So we have the weather report in the fog in the satin. So these are 108 wide. And the finish of them, they're cotton, but the finish of them are kind of like really nicely and soft like sheets if you had like satin sheets. And then we have the other colorway is the sun kissed with the pinks and the golds. So these are 108s that go specifically with this line backings. Beautiful, beautiful. So weather report. What's the weather report say? Oh. <laughs> It's just getting colder. It was nice today. Yeah, no just the wind today. was kind of whipping a little bit. So you could feel it. But the sun is shining. It's always good when the sun is shining. You can stay inside and just look at the sunshine through the windows. I'm good. Everybody, Especially if I'm hanging out in my sun. Everybody room. loves all the new stuff. Good. Yes, always try and look for the unique. You know me. Um, and I can't wait. I already have ideas for weather reports, so... I cannot wait to work with it. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So make beautiful quilts. All right. Um, so next up for us is a live winner from all of your comments. I hope you've been good about commenting. 
So let's see who was our winner of the evening. Tiffany Johnson. Congratulations. $25 gift cards is uh, available for you. Just send us an email to help at geculdesigns.com and we will get you that gift card electronically so you can get to shopping. Get to shopping. Yes. Um, any questions? Oh, there! Everybody's giving us their weather report. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's beautiful. It's it's really great to see. We got a weather report from England, uh, very different from probably other parts. And of course, if you're in the U.S., we got totally different weather here than down south. Yes, rainy some out places. East, out west. <laughs> yeah. So that's always fun. Um, all right. So we have a second chance for you to win. Of what course, about the quilts behind you? What's oh, the quilts. There? Yes. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to talk about Lucy. So Lucy is hanging on the wall behind me. Uh, my pattern, Lucy, this is one of the layouts that I hadn't done before. This uses our hustle and bustle Christmas fabric uh, bundle. And I really love it just with the white um, grunge, white paper as the background. Just really sharp contrast and fun to play with. This is the offset medallion. No, offset um, barn raising. Offset barn raising layout. With weather report real quick? Uh, Lucy, say what? Weather report. No, I don't have that sewn up. Would that work with that? Better? Oh, yeah. With a really cool background that really is sharp contrast. That would be gorgeous. Awesome. Um, Lucy, and then in the corner is Phoenix in our uh, gingham foundry, a more scrappy version of Phoenix. And then we have little Trixie, table runner, on the cabinet. And we have Kobe on the floor napping. Oh, he's, oh, you know where he is? <laughs> the pillows that I threw on the floor, he's all nestled in them. I'm going to take a photo of him and so I can post he loves that. and show you what he's been doing. Kobe kind of knows that he's not supposed to be doing this. He gave me a little look. <laughs> All right, so that's it for us tonight. Um, final question, so answer this question for a second chance at a giveaway. Uh, do you enjoy basic sewing projects? So I'm not talking about quilting, but basic sewing projects, kind of like the ones I showed you tonight. You know, sewing up some napkins or dish towels or making bags and stuff like that. I would love to hear if you enjoy those. Um, our next Tipsy Tuesday show will be next week, November 2nd at 7 p.m. Central. And, of course, I'll be live this coming Friday. We will be live this coming Friday for a happy Friday show. Friday, October 29th, 3 p.m. Central. Uh, we'll probably be talking about some cutting. Oh. And this is our Halloween show. Halloween. I had, I had 7 p.m. on it. Sorry, everybody. It's 3 p.m. 3 p.m. on Friday. 3 p.m. on Friday. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening and have a wonderful week. I'll see you Friday. Bye, everybody.